Episode 1. Ji and stared at the mysterious woman at her doorstep, her mind racing with the revelation that her uncle's seemingly innocuous business was a front for a dark web weapons trade. The tension escalated as the woman, so Min Hai, claimed to be Jin Man's Chinese tutor, yet concealed weapons in her bag. Zhang Min, standing beside Ji and, suggested calling the police, but before they could act, a text on the old phone warned Ji An not to die at the hands of another, as the sender intended to kill her personally. The ominous message heightened the suspense, leaving Ji An frozen in place as Min Hai approached the front door. The narrative then takes us back to Ji An's childhood, a poignant memory of a family dinner with her uncle Jin Man after an eight-year absence. The episode concludes with a heartfelt smile shared between Ji An and Jin Man, providing a glimpse into the complexity of their relationship. As the plot unfolds, Ji An finds herself entangled in a dangerous web of secrets, discovering her uncle's involvement in a covert arms trade. The juxtaposition of past and present events adds depth to the story, revealing the intricate layers of Jin Man's life. With the revelation of a substantial bank balance and a dark web platform named Murtha Help, Ji An and Zhang Min delve into the shadowy world her uncle inhabited. The suspense heightens with the arrival of the mysterious figure at the funeral, leaving the audience on the edge of their seats. The introduction of the twin brothers and Li Yang Han, coupled with the enigmatic figure smoking a cigarette, adds a layer of intrigue to the narrative. The complexities surrounding Jin Man's life become more apparent as his old friends discuss rumors of his involvement in the underworld. The emotional toll on Ji An is palpable as she confronts the gruesome reality of her uncle's death, seeking solace in Jung Min's company. The unexpected discovery of a hidden phone and its connection to a large sum of money propels the story into a realm of suspense and danger. As So Min Hai stands at Ji An's doorstep, armed and dangerous, the audience is left eagerly anticipating the next twist in this gripping tale. A Shop for Killers Episode 1 sets the stage for a thrilling and unpredictable journey into a world of secrets, deception, and the unexpected consequences of Jin Man's clandestine activities. In the midst of the tense confrontation with So Min Hai, Ji An hesitated but ultimately decided to trust her instincts. She discreetly signaled to Zhang Min to stay vigilant as she cautiously opened the door. So Min Hai greeted Ji An with a polite smile, but the glint of weaponry in her bag hinted at a more sinister purpose. As Ji An engaged in small talk with So Min Hai, her mind raced to decipher the cryptic messages on the old phone. The revelation of a hefty bank balance and the involvement in a dark web weapons trade further heightened the stakes. Zhang Min, ever resourceful, continued his investigation into Murtha Help and its clandestine operations. The story took a darker turn as Ji An received a chilling message on the phone from the unknown sender. The ominous warning intensified the suspense, and the threat of impending danger loomed over Ji An. So Min Hai's true intentions remained shrouded in mystery as she subtly probed Ji An about her uncle's recent activities. Meanwhile, Zhang Min uncovered more unsettling details about Murtha Help, exposing a network of illicit arms transactions and dangerous clientele. The revelation left Ji An grappling with the shocking reality that her seemingly ordinary uncle was deeply entrenched in a world of violence and secrecy. The narrative weaved seamlessly between past and present, providing glimpses into Jin Man's complex character. The emotional weight of Ji An's grief and confusion resonated, as she navigated the aftermath of her uncle's death and the dangerous legacy he left behind. As tensions escalated, Ji An decided to confront So Min Hai about the true nature of her connection to Jin Man. The two engaged in a verbal dance, each carefully choosing their words as they circled around the secrets that bound them. Zhang Min, ever the ally, discreetly observed the unfolding drama, ready to act if the situation spiraled out of control. The episode concluded with a cliffhanger, leaving the audience on the edge of their seats. The enigmatic figure smoking a cigarette in the distance, coupled with the unresolved mysteries surrounding Jin Man's life and death, set the stage for an enthralling continuation of a shop for killers. As the story unfolded, Ji An found herself entangled in a web of deception, danger, and the shadows of her uncle's mysterious past. 
The intricate plot and well-developed characters promised a riveting journey into the heart of darkness, where secrets threatened to unravel with each passing moment. The suspenseful atmosphere lingered, leaving viewers eagerly anticipating the next chapter in this gripping tale of intrigue and betrayal. A Shop for Killers Episode 2 Inches opens with Min Hai driving to Jin Man's house and deploying drones. The narrative then shifts to Ji An's grandmother's funeral in the past, revealing suspicions about her death. Ji An's father dismisses it as illness. Ji An, accompanied by Jin Man, encounters a sinister sniper at the funeral. Later, Jin Man imparts unconventional wisdom about death to Ji An. He receives a mysterious call, instructing Ji An to stay home, awaiting a friend who must solve a riddle. Ji An follows the plan leading to a dramatic confrontation. Escaping through a window, she attracts attention and evades the killers. In the hospital, Ji An learns her parents were murdered, her uncle missing. Escaping another attempt on her life, Ji An hides in a morgue drawer. Jin Man rescues her, taking her under his care. A month later, they head to the countryside. Jin Man struggles with guilt over Ji An's condition emphasizing his inability to be a traditional parent. Ji An faces bullying at school due to her condition and communicates with Jin Man through post-its. Overcoming challenges, she eventually speaks and confronts her uncle about his delayed return. In the present, Min Hai confronts Ji An with a gun, but Ji An sees through the deception. Another threat arises as someone claims they will kill her. Zhang Min reveals the website's codes, identifying Jin Man and Ji An as Code Green, requiring protection. An explosion rocks their house, and drones attack. Ji An and Zhang Min realize the house's advanced defenses. They fend off the assault, discovering an explosive-filled chip in the glass. Ji An, armed with a slingshot, defeats the drones, revealing the extent of her capabilities. An epilogue introduces Mr. Kim, the boss, removing his chip. Seong Jo, the sniper, announces a bonus for capturing Ji An. The group heads towards Ji An's impending danger, setting the stage for the next episode of A Shop for Killers.